You know, my dad used to say if I stood sideways and stuck out my tongue, I'd look like a zipper. <laughs> Sadly, that is not the case any longer. My mother lived in a state of denial. She wanted this, like, founcy, plouncy, fancy Pepto-Bismol girl. You know those little Pepto-Bismol girls? You've seen them. They're all pink. They, like, <laughs> flounce around, but they have the adverse effect of Pepto-Bismol. They kind of make you want to throw up. That's what my mom wanted. She did not get it with me. She wanted curls. She did not get it with me. She wanted me to hold little baby dolls. When my sister would say, hey, let's play, let's play baby dolls, Kimmy, let's play baby dolls, I'd, I'd say, okay, and I'd cut their hair, squeeze water in their mouth, make them pee, and toss them. <laughs> you laughed, but I raised my children that way, and they're fine, upstanding <laughs> citizens. Now, my Sunday school teacher for years was Mrs. Rose, and I loved Mrs. Rose, but she had a love affair with felt. She had felt rocks, felt water, felt sky, felt sun. There was a felt Jesus that did felt miracles. <laughs> and when the felt loaves would divide and feed many, <laughs> I'd get really excited because I knew it was soon time to go out and play in the churchyard, and that was my favorite, favorite time, is to run out and to play in that yard. Then there was me. I had freckles on my nose and my cheeks and my toes. Mama said it made me a cutie. But I heard my teacher tell Mrs. Rose I looked a lot like mm, Howdy Doody here because uh, I want to apologize for my behavior at my birthday party. Nothing. I looked up, her head was down, her hair was covering her face, and I said, Aunt Margaret, I said, I want to apologize for my behavior at my birthday party. Nothing. Well, I came and did what I was told to do. I'm going home. I turned around. I walked two, four steps, and I heard it. Something that we weren't even allowed to say at our house. She said it. I hate you. I turned around, and I looked at her, and I said, what? She said, I hate you. She said, I sit in my yard every day. She looked up and there were tears down her face. Every day I sit in my yard and I watch you in your yard playing with your brothers and I don't have any brothers or sisters. I don't have anybody to play with. And I have to play alone all the time and all I have is this stupid baby doll and my mom dresses me like this so I can't climb trees, I can't run, I can't play. And you beautiful red hair and I have plain brown hair she said I hate you Whew. I was only eight years old things washed over me compassion pity understanding the paradigm shifted the view from my yard to hers became very very clear with just a few lines of her story An interesting thing happened that summer, Ann Margaret and I became best friends until she moved away a couple years.